Hi everyone, Ladislas Maurice from TheWanderingInvestor.com So today we're going to look at an apartment, Al Mouj in Muscat, Oman. We're going to go through, calculate the exact yield, and then discuss with my buyer's agent. So this video is just a small part of, of the whole article, so if you want to understand the market in Oman, the real estate market, then please click the link below. Alright, let's get started. Welcome to the lovely Almuj Marina in Muscat, Oman. In the evenings, you have a whole bunch of people strolling here. There's a, there are cafes, restaurants. And the apartment that we shall visit today is located right here in this building in front of the marina. Let's have a look at this one bedroom apartment here in Almuj. Lovely little kitchen with all the equipment one can need. Nice large living room area. And the best part is the view. So really stunning with the pool, everything. Um, if you get a bigger unit, like a two or three bedroom unit, it's cool because you can see when your kids are out playing in the pool. And here is Nicole, our friendly agent. How are you, Nicole? I'm great. All right, we'll speak with Nicole in a bit. Let's continue. Now, the bathroom, nice, big, modern. Bedroom and a big wardrobe. Hello, Nicole. How are you? I'm good, and you? Thanks. Good. Great. So thanks for showing us this apartment. Pleasure. So how many square meters was it? It's roughly 78 square meters. And the price tag on it? Price tags from, uh, starting from 80,000 Omani Rials. 80,000 Omani Rials. Any taxes when you purchase an apartment? Yes, you have 3% uh, to the Ministry of Housing and you have another 2% um, payable to the developer which is Almuj on the original purchase price. Okay, but typically the seller pays these? So this is uh, negotiable, it could be either way. Okay, so 80,000 Omani Rials, are there any taxes to pay when you purchase an apartment? So your taxes are to the Ministry of Housing which is 3% on the agreed rate. So if my understanding is correct, that's typically the buyer that would pay this? That's correct. Okay, great. So in this case, we do 80,000 Omani Rials plus 3% in terms of uh, Ministry of Housing taxes. Here that's Oman. correct. What rental could we expect on a monthly basis? We can expect about 475 Omani Rials a month. Okay. Any taxes? Taxes, you have... A 3% to the municipality on registering the tenancy and you've got 5% commission to the agent. Common charges that the owners must pay? Common charges are about 80 reals a month and that would go towards keeping the, the pools and the gardens clean, the elevators, the basement, pretty much everything outside the apartment is taken care of. Essentially, we're looking at gross yields of 6 to 7%. They'll bank on closer to 6% than 7%. Once you've paid all the fees, you take into account maintenance, you put an allowance for when the apartment's going to be empty in between tenants, etc. It's probably fair to estimate about 4% net-net of everything. Is I think is a fair, is a fair yes, figure. Yes, I agree. I so agree. when you compare this to a lot of Western markets, it's substantially higher. Um, typically in Western Europe, you'd be between one and a half and two percent. So here your net yields are two times bigger than in Western Europe. But you also have to check with a tax person back in your own country to see if there's a double tax agreement. 
between Oman and your country of tax residence to, to make sure you don't get taxed twice on it because that could really change the, change the figures. So, Nicole, how long have you been here for? In, uh, I've lived here for 16 years. 16 years in Oman? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'd, I'd, like we've known each other for approximately three, four years now. That's correct. Yeah. But I didn't know you, were, <laughs> you no, lived I've here for here, this long. I've been here for 16 years. So you're almost Omani. Almost. 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 Cool. Fantastic. So what brings expatriates to Oman? Lifestyle, 365 days of sunshine which is, is really the main factor, I think, for Europe, Europeans. Um, it's safe, secure. The Omani population or the Omani people are very friendly. Um, it's just a, a laid back, it's a bit, bit of a, it's a mix of a village lifestyle with some modern, you know, amenities kind of if you want to want to call it that. Cool. Yeah, I, I come here on a regular basis and I agree Oman is very nice on, on multiple fronts. I'd also add um, healthcare, which is quite good and very yeah. affordable. You can go to private clinics. Uh, literally, you call them, you say, hey, I'd like to see a specialist tomorrow and immediately you see a specialist the next day and it'll cost you $30 to see, to see a specialist. Um, so very interesting from a healthcare point of view. There are also a lot of private international schools, so for children it's a, it's a good opportunity. And I'd say that for people who raise a family, Oman is more interesting than Dubai. It's yeah. more family friendly, people are a bit less obsessed with money, like in Dubai, so your kids will potentially become a bit less hedonistic. <laughs> and, uh, and the nature is stunning. Nature is stunning, with lot mountains, wadis, the ocean. So great, great for the, the outdoor enthusiast. Lots of mountain biking, running, virtually any sport, kite surfing, anything you can, you know, virtually any sport you can think of. I have noticed as well a trend in the, in the last few years in Oman with a lot of wealthy South Asians getting a plan B in Oman. So they come to Oman, they buy an apartment here, it gives them residency rights and they either send their family to live here whilst they continue working in, uh, in Mumbai or in Delhi and the air is fresher, it's more peaceful, they don't have to deal with the hectic life back in India. So I've seen quite a few people living this way. Is this, yeah. is this something you've, you've noticed as well? Absolutely. Uh, Oman is just, for the Asian population, Oman is the ideal retirement, you know, place to retire if I want to call it that mm -hmm. um, as you say it's safe it's 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 clean it's modern it's less populated so yes and also Oman is interesting from a tax point of view for people who become fiscal residents here can you elaborate on this yeah so no taxes on on anything for the moment okay but that may change in the near future apart from rental income uh, yeah, taxes on, uh, absolutely, taxes on rental income and on, on selling the property. Fantastic. Nicole, thank you very much. So if you, want to, if you have any questions concerning Oman, feel free to get in touch with Nicole. She'll give you all the insight that you need. She works at one of the better agencies here in, uh, here in Moscat. So she has a wide portfolio of properties across the Moscat area and the different developments where foreigners are allowed to buy freehold property. Nicole, thank you. Thank you, thanks Ladislas. Right next to the swimming pool, there is a lovely gym with quality equipment. Hey buddy, how's the workout? <laughs> I don't think he wants to interact.